This is Persia. Persia. And nothing else. Because, hey guys, how is it going? Welcome back to another episode of Hearts of Iron 4 as I ran. Well, soon to be Persia. So, um, I decided too that I'm most likely gonna have a stream on Sunday and I'm gonna start up one of these smaller, more weird campaigns. But I wanna, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna, I wanna start it with a stream. So, I decided to, in a middle campaign, I haven't. I haven't given much attention to, well, the Middle Eastern territories very much. So I decided to, let's play as I ran and try to recreate the Persian Empire with a small twist. So um, there is this, well, everyone knows about the Immortals, the 10,000 strong. So I decided to, can we somehow recreate that? Uh, we probably can't do it as 10,000 strong, but um, how about my Immortals being 100,000 strong? So as, well, that's all I can ever have. No less, no more, it's gonna be 100,000 men. And, well, I looked a bit through the history, and I found... I'm probably gonna slaughter this completely, but the Sahayaden... Slaughtering that completely, whatever. It was a time where the immortal, the 10,000 strong men, were served as heavy cavalry units. Well, heavy cavalry doesn't exist in Hoi. It exists in cavalry, but it's kinda bad. So I was thinking... What can we replace the heavy cavalry with? So I was thinking, we're gonna play this campaign with the immortals, with the elite cavalry unit, but as heavy tank units. So recreating the Persian Empire with, well, it's gonna be 10 division at 10,000 division. Oh, actually, it might not be. It might be 5,000 and 20 divisions. Anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna recreate the Persian Empire with... Well, a stronger, new, modern, 100,000 strong heavy cavalry unit, which means heavy tank division. And uh, I don't expect to be very long, but um, I hope you enjoy this middle campaign. So, first of all, we are definitely going to have to just, well, get the heavy tanks ASAP. But otherwise, we really need to just raise up the Persian industry. We need, probably need to become fascist. Actually, it would be nice if we stayed monarchist, but we can't justify war as a monarchist. Maybe I can turn fascist, and for the end, I will turn back into um, monarchist. I don't know, but um, we'll have to wait and see. Otherwise, we have some nice resources. We have a lot of oil. Hopefully, people will trade with us for that. And otherwise, we are, well, from the beginning, just going to build up a couple more civilian factories if we can. Uh, let's see, our current army, well... You're not even worthy of being called an army. It's currently consisting of 18,000 men. But the 18,000 men are gonna serve their purpose, well, right now, because all you guys are gonna do is train. You're gonna train, you're gonna train some more, and train even more, because I need a lot of experience if I'm gonna get my heavy tank division. So, uh, what I'm planning is, most likely, is to go straight, as soon as I possibly can, go and take Iraq. Try to centralize all the oil within Malt. For myself and then we're probably gonna go well we're not probably gonna go we're going to go for I oh wait Saudi Arabia do I need Saudi Arabia to actually form the Persian Empire and doesn't look like it but I will probably take it anyway because they also have a lot of oil actually wait they no they don't they don't have oh wait I was thinking about the mod. they don't have oil at all so yeah we probably won't do that at all but we will probably try to go for Turkey before, well, any of the allies actually start justifying against us. Or, well, not justify against us, but more like guarantee the nations we want to justify against. Because we can turn fascist rather quickly. Like, not very quickly, but rather quickly. Uh, since we don't have any current, well, we're not, we're not communist, we're not democratic. And of course, we're not fascist, which means we can go down to collectivists, we can get the nationalist focus and militarism just to get all our manpower from here. So we basically don't have to switch any manpower law. We can really just focus down on everything that we need to be able to be as strong as possible and attack as quickly as possible. Uh, so we're gonna go down, get the nationalist focus, then we're gonna straight away turn to industrial focus and just get ornament, ornament, ornament. I think at least. Because, like I said, I, I'm not gonna declare war, I'm not gonna... Well, I, we're only gonna play with our immortals, and for that I need tanks ASAP. I need tanks and motorized. So, you are gonna go down right here, start getting tanks, then you're gonna be switched around, get the motorized units right here. Actually, speaking of that, we need more research. 
are we are we gonna go down industrial focus all the way because that's at least one in, in one research slot right there that we might want we can get one right here as well uh, one right here as well if we're at war and is in a faction so maybe we would create a tiny tiny f tiny tiny puppet but that would mean we'd have to kill someone and then just uh, that's a bit harder um let's really focus okay let's see basic machine tools thank you let's actually just go straight and get that motorized up and rolling actually wait we can't produce two things at the same time so that's completely unnecessary but what we can do is get the mobile warfare by one so let's get that one Yes, well, more breakthrough for the tanks, more planning speed, division speed, and organization loss when moving. Uh, it's fine. Um, let's see, decisions available. Well, we're not going to do anything just yet. We are just going to need it. So, 150 blue power, and actually, we are going to go for um, partial mobilization right away. I was going to say we're going to pick this silent work workhorse, but just getting partial right away is going to be better, I think. It's going to leave more factories up to me. Yeah, yeah, we're definitely gonna get, go down industrial focus and try to get that extra research slot. It's also gonna give us some more infrastructure, which we kind of desperately need as well. Infrastructure in Persia isn't the best right now. So let's get that heavy tank and soon let's switch, the, well, switch you out to a proper division. Uh, let's see, we need at least three factories. So we could also actually go down and get armaments too. That would give me two more factories. One would be, well, of course, on infantry equipment since we still need that for the motorized guys and um, we um, yeah so we might actually want to go down hmm this is actually hard this is actually very hard to pick uh, well we need to do industrial effort anyway <laughs> we can't just skip that focus and then pick one of the paths uh, currently our fashion support is at 14% uh, as you might, might actually notice I'm playing vanilla which is kind of weird But it was a very long time ago. I've actually played some just straight out vanilla and I'm kind of missing the speed <laughs> Most mods are actually going quite a bit slower than the just vanilla game So I wanted to play it and I also want to see the difference between well what I'm playing daily man the guns and just the normal gameplay <laughs> And see, well, what I feel is the biggest difference. I'm not gonna tell you, of course, because that would break in my NDA, but I'm still gonna taunt you that I'm playing Manny Guns every single day. <laughs> God, I'm, I'm so, I'm so much like an adult. I'm very much, I might, actually, I've got to say I might look like one, but no, I definitely don't. I'm getting legged everywhere, and it's so embarrassing every single time. Sad face. But anyway, come on, let's get those heavy tanks up and rolling. Oh god, why did I actually pick Dokken right away? I know it's good, but really, right away? Maybe I should have waited a tiny bit. Anyway, what's done is done, let's just continue. Uh, 112 to the power, we are gonna definitely get the silent workhorse after this. Uh, construction or not, construction or not, construction or not. Yes, to get the construction, but we're gonna do this instead. Remove that one and let's start building military factories. That's actually a 50. Oh my god, I missed that one. Yeah, let's build up there because we are at partial right now, which does increase the speed of... Uh, well, it does increase the speed of uh, military production. It, uh, sure, it removes the civilian penalty, but it improves the speed. So it's a difference of, well, plus 40%. Factory speed for building military factories, so let's do that. And that also will hopefully make it so it's a, it feels a bit better for me to just go down construction rather than armament. We might actually do one armament only, and then we build up the other factory. That might actually be it. That's cool. Uh, and what you might see is I only have 171 pulley power. Wait, doesn't one of these give fascist support? Oh no, it doesn't. Okay, never mind. We're good. Um, yeah, so we actually don't need very much of the, uh, very many of these folks that actually have enough manpower. We already do, technically. Uh, so like I said, we're only going to be at 100,000 men at, constantly, which is going to be a bit troublesome, but I, I believe I can do it. I believe I can do it. Like, this is 4,500 men. Tanks are luckily one of those divisions that take less manpower than others. Uh, let's get one armament right here so we just have all our factories producing all of our goods that we might need. Uh, actually this, we don't need to do that. Oh, damn it. Since we're, well, you're gonna be finishing 50 days, yeah. Okay, we didn't need to do that since, yeah, we won't actually have all our resources yet. I guess we can always build up an extra stockpile of, actually not an extra stockpile, we're gonna need it for the heavy tanks. 
They were god awfully expensive. Never mind, we're fine. We're fine. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. See me jump back and forth between my thoughts and like, no, we did that. No, wait, it's good. No, it's bad. No, it's good. I'm I'm so consistent with what I'm saying, right? Uh, let's see. There we go. We are definitely gonna go for machine tools, and you are gonna go for motorized. And as soon as something is finished, which is gonna finish first, this building is finished. We're gonna start getting some heavy tanks, and we can actually do it like that. So we just have it up here. Uh, let's see. Anything else we can do right now? Well, we're gonna open up for political discussions. We're definitely just gonna go with the civil way, um, because it goes very, very quickly. Having both the naturally support and the advisor, we're taking forward plus 0 0.06 every single day. So we need to tick up. Up and wait, 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 wait. This is the biggest point. Uh, so as soon as this is at 40 percent, well, 40.0.1 percent, we can straight away just pick the discredit government because it's minus 10 percent right there, which added adds it to the only party popularity that's actually growing right now, which means we'll get over 50. We'll get over 50% support when, once we pick this. Or we just need to get one of those random events that gives us more fascist support and we can pick it right away. And boom, we're over 50% fascist and now all we need right now is 100 player power. We can get a national referendum and then we can well, start invading nations as soon as we have enough well, enough tanks to actually get our... Well, we don't need 100,000 men straight away. We're not allowed to attack with anything else. Then our dear immortals, they will just need some time to... Well, relax, take some... Well, build build themselves up and... Well, once you're... Let's just say it's a max cap of 100,000 men. That's easier. That's easier and also lets me, lets me invade people faster. And let's see, you are definitely going to be at top. Oh god, you're missing so much. I'm going to start trading for oil or steel right now i'm gonna do it with soviet union and that's basically well very much helping me god you're so expensive oh wait really you need about the same amount of chromium Oof, that's expensive that's really expensive yeah it's good that we're actually picking these extra steel and factory stands so we actually can produce something uh let's see how long before we're done with motorized yeah you are luckily a lot cheaper so we're getting three point per month. Yeah, that's good because we're picking the extra efficiency right here, which means your cap is just gonna increase and really help us right there. Yeah, uh, zero point one six. Uh, oh god, we're getting this one as well. God, that really really helps. Now we wouldn't even well we wouldn't have needed to pick the other one. Uh, so we're gonna hold a national referendum right now. Thank you. And there we go. We are fashion new Persian Empire. Well. Yeah, we are the new Persian Empire, but we haven't recreated the Persian Empire right now. Or should we just call the episode right now? Like, thank you guys for watching the episode. We are the new Persian Empire. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. No, definitely. We can't do anything like that. Ugh. That would be such a douche move. That's incredible. Wow. I, I kind of. Oh my god. That would have been so good. I should have done it. I should have ended the episode right there. Oh my god. I should have done that. That would have been great. Such an asshole, but great. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, actually, for you guys who haven't seen this, my cool glass. Uh, let's see, I need to hold it right here. Uh, it might not be perfectly visible, but maybe you can see, like, my guy right there on the front, like a viking costume and like this rune, oh, god, it looks super super cool. Uh, okay, there we go, we got the extra machine tools right there, let's just get concert industry, because really what we just need right now is to cram out as much as possible from my industry. Uh, so let's get the next tank, right, uh, next factory right there, yeah, we might need three of them right there. Uh, that means we're missing free steel, but mostly from this you have a penalty of 1.6%. That's completely fine. So you are going to produce even more, well, I guess any of these 30 areas. You are most protected of those, so we're going to build right there. 150 days, yeah, that's fine. So can we invade anyone right now? No, we really, really can't. We need to get these motorized and we need to get a couple of tanks at least. We have 15 of them. Luckily, they only take like 50 per battalion, so... It should be kind of fine. 
God, world tension is increasing a bit too fast right now for my liking. Uh, we're gonna get, I think, just infrastructure then the next um, resource slot right there. There we go, motorized is now done. We're gonna get motorized and... Am I gonna remove one right here? I think I am. So just so we get this production up and rolling ri right away. Uh, you are missing 5%, that's all good. Motorized is super cheap, luckily. 2.5 if you compare with tanks that are 25, so they're 10 times more expensive. And we only have double the industry assigned to it. Yeah, we need a lot more right there. Uh, let's see, more research right here. We are gonna go down and pick construction effort. I don't think so. We're gonna get electronic engineering right now. We're gonna get the research stuff, because soon we have one more slot, and that's gonna be more worth, worth it then. So, um... I was thinking either we invade Afghanistan, but now they're doing neutrality focus. So I guess we're gonna invade you who have already done neutrality focus. Oh, really? Really? Both of you do this? That's really annoying because that gives them the. Pen well, that gives them the. Oh, actually, it doesn't. Really? I really thought it was a. Uh... Oh god, yeah. Never mind, they have done the Prince of Terror. That's the guy who actually gives. In the vanilla game, it's the Prince of Terror that is annoying. Right. And of course, both of them have picked it, so it's gonna take a longer time for me to justify against them. Fuck Freaking great. I did not swear at all right there. Damn it, Daniel. Uh, war economy, excellent. Since we don't have to pick any conscription law, really. So that's gonna be all good. Uh, we have this armor division. You're gonna switch out to motorized. Uh, we don't yet have the industry for that. Let's see, and I guess it's the same thing right here, yeah. But this is much better because that means we have everything we need. So we need two more experience and then we're gonna save this and then we have our, well, basic division. We need 120 tanks, really? Only 120? Yeah, you only take 40 and not 50 for each of these. That's even better than I thought. All we really need is, I think, one division to be able to beat, uh, beat Iraq, but they might just push out a ton of divisions as soon as we actually declare this war. So I'm a bit worried right there. Let's get the extra extra resource slot right now. And uh, let's see, we have 34 experience points. Yes, give me that last one. It was almost perfectly time. Just starting getting, well, getting those units to train from the beginning and not light tanks. Oh my God, not light tanks. And don't make a mistake right here. All free heavy tank, all free motorized. Save that, thank you. And start getting out these divisions. So they currently consist out of 5,100 men. So I can get, well, 19 divisions of these. Now, I'm not gonna go over that 10,000 limit. I'm gonna somehow, whenever I can, try to make up for that 900 somehow. We're, we're gonna get those. Actually, can we get like 5.4? Okay, calculator. If we do 100,000, split 5.4, how close are we? Oh, actually 18.5 then. So yeah, that's a bit too much. Damn it. Because actually 1000 split with 5.1, 19.6 divisions. Nope, nope, I guess we're gonna get 19 divisions. Uh, let's see, is there anything we should get right here? Sport equipment? Yeah, maybe, but not yet at least. Land do doctrines, doctrines, doctrines. Holy shit, yeah, doctrines. Uh, almost 120 right there, okay. Do I think I can fill enough divisions right now to get, well, at least three divisions so I can actually push in right here? I need to at least be able to match them in amount of divisions in how many days? 300 days, I think so. So let's start justifying that war goal right now. I, I promise you, if anyone guarantees you, I'm gonna be pissed. Uh, we're gonna get, uh, actually, let's get the... N no, let's get the construction effort. I, no, I know it might be bad right now, but I just, we need it, we need it. Uh, let's see, construction effort, sure, let's get that one right now, it's pretty decent. Uh, let's see, that's over a year ahead of time, we can't pick anything like that. We need to go down and get the next uh, research speed right there. Uh, let's see, we need three of those submissions, how many are we missing? This will take 850 days to finish and that will take 341 days. Both of you have quite a bit of efficiency left and we're gonna get at least two more factories, so that should be all good. And that's kind of what I want to reach. Actually, really, I want to reach this. But, um, well, that's just before the war. You're still getting efficiency two per week. How much are you actually missing right now? 1.6% and you're still at 5%. 10%. 
Why? Why are you more now than before? Weird. Uh, you are missing a lot more. 20% but you're still gaining 8 per day and that's like good enough. Okay, uh, what else? Yeah, there we're gonna get two more factories that's gonna bump up, well, this and this. Okay, I think we're gonna be alright. I think we're gonna be alright. We're gonna be alright. Uh, we should maybe have received, um, well, made the tank designer, but it's only 5% reliability, so I think we will be cool. Okay, um, with the theories, we're gonna get, um, actually, are we gonna get him? I don't see it as super important. Uh, regrouping is gonna be more important, organization is definitely gonna be more important, attack is gonna be more important. Uh, let's see, how good are these divisions? We have 35 organizations, so it's gonna be 3.5 more organization or 10% more attack. I think we're gonna need that extra attack, to be honest. So let's get the attack guy right there, thank you. Uh, you're gonna get the armament, armament, and then we're gonna get militarism, just so we get that, well, 5% uh, recruit population, so we don't have to worry about any manpower. Uh, free civilian factories, ooh, really? So let's get that one, and let's get that one. Perfect. Well, not perfect, but it's better. Uh, let's see, you have your fourth military factory now. Excellent. How much are you missing? You're missing 6.2%, which means you're going to miss even more. If I trade for the rest of the steel right now, 16, then you are still missing the same. 6.2, yeah, because you need chromium as well. If I trade for that as well, that means we are good right there. And you only have six factories, which means another 100 days. And uh, we have another 180 days right there. I think we will be all right. We should be all right. 500 days. But you're getting your stuff right now. So it is decreasing faster than one day. Okay, that's going to be really, really tight. We might. Are we going to be fine with motorized? Yeah, we're definitely going to be fine with motorized. So let's ignore that one and let's just add even more factories to the tanks. Yeah, I think that's really what we need. And that's one armament, so let's get the second one right there. Thank you. That's gonna be four per week. Cool. We need to increase it a bit more to get it a day. So this is four per week when you basically need to double it. This would probably be one per day. God, we need a lot more, we need a lot more tanks. How many divisions do you have right now? Four to seven. And I'm thinking it's probably closer to seven right now. If I just get my troops closer to the border, I want to see what kind of divisions they have. So they have pretty decent ones. Yeah. They are pretty goddamn decent. I can't defend my entire front line with the few units I have. I'm going to need more divisions than these. So if I actually... Re okay, guys, you need to continue training like hell, please. Uh, so if I actually reduced our current division to something like this, how good, well, actually, how bad would you be then? Yeah, that's that's not any good stats. Like, these divisions are probably going to wreck the crap out of them. And aren't they better? They have 6 to 9. Are they fully fixed as well? Yeah, they're 6 to 9. They have 2. Oh, my God. So they have, like, this currently. You are not going to pierce my armor, you're 4.5, uh, this division have 20, uh, 45, so we have over 10 times the amount. But the question is, they will just storm into my nation actually destroyed. If I remove just one on each, then that's more reasonable. 42, 42, 92, and their division would be at 60, oh my god. They're so much better than my current division, 100, 150, yeah. God, that's gonna be very hard to break, but I think I still need to do it. I still freaking need to do it. Just so I get more, more of these divisions out. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I need to reduce, I need to reduce my current division setup. I just need more of them. Uh, let's do this and this. Oh god, we can't do it just yet. Come on, just give me that experience points and I will be able to do it. Uh, I might just justify this war a tiny bit too early. We have 60 days after that. But, god, am I really gonna fail this? I might be failing it. I might be failing my first episode. <laughs> that, that would be just pure embarrassment. Pure freaking embarrassment. 
I could always rename these guys and have, well, the Persian army is still under construction. <laughs> they I really, all I need is something that defends. If I don't attack with them, I guess it's kind of fair. <laughs> I'm really trying to just find reasons to keep these divisions right now in their place. Not to attack, just to, they can temporarily hold the border, but because right now they're just pumping out all of the divisions they possibly can get. And that's really, really bad for me. Uh, let's see, uh, we have 9 experience points, come on, just give me a tiny bit more. Tiny, tiny, tiny bit more. That's gonna instantly fill those divisions, we need like 6, 10 divisions, and they're probably still gonna lose against divisions, but I think I can, well, be sneaky and win this war with, well, with the slightly worse divisions. Until we actually manage to get something proper out, like this, and enough of them, and like really, really enough of them. And then we need to play really, really smart, attacking where we should, defending where we should. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be a hard thing to do. But um, otherwise, I don't think it's worthy of doing. Let's see. There we go. These divisions were instant deployed. You just get up right here to the front line, and bump up right here. Uh, you guys are not gonna train. Oh my god! I would just be throwing away the very, very, very expensive tanks I've just built. Defensive doctrine for now. Let's see, I need at least six more tanks right here, but yeah, that's another 500 tanks right here. That would be 500 days. If I cancel this one, if I cancel this one, then make a new justification, I think that would be enough time. Oh, here we have change popularity fascist 20%. Oh my god, we could have done this one and be done even faster. But what's done is done. Um, well, we're still gonna pick this one right now. If I cancel this one, but that would be war in the second episode then. I really wanted to take down at least one nation in the first episode. Can I somehow properly defend myself? But then I would have to use these fake units. I might still have to. Oh my god, those divisions are so much better than anything I have. Uh, let's see, if I cancel, cancel those two. Wait, wait, we can't unpause right now because then this one finishes. We are gonna lose this war, definitely. Like, we can't stop their current divisions right here. And why did you get deployed? You were not done yet. And I did not force you to get deployed or anything like that. What, what the hell, guys? Um, I, I want you to see how failed this would be. So I'm gonna save that game. Then I'm probably just gonna, well, allow myself to clear this war and then we'll just see. So, are, do we have any tanks right here? Any tanks at all? I don't think so. We only have the freaking motorized divisions. And of course, we need to rename these ones to what the hell I was talking about all the time. Let's rename them right there. And let's see, we have otherwise 60 days upon ourselves to declare this war. Well, let's, let's try. That's right, uh, I need at least one more division, so everything shall be gathered up in this single one. Okay, we have enough of non-tanks right there. Let's see, you are currently being produced, oh god, you need so much more stuff right now. Let's trade for more steel, let's trade for more chromium. That's one a day, finally. But that's still 150 we need. Holy shit, really? That much? I should have focused more on it. Uh, let's see, are you splitting it up evenly right now? No, you're not. You're giving everything to this. Okay, that's good. How many days left before this happens? Uh, 29th of November. <laughs> let's just get that guy out of rolling because we need him right there to actually defend this. But yeah, I'm gonna get slaughtered in this. Like, completely slaughtered. It's not gonna go well. And you guys, well, this current division would only be motorized. It wouldn't be the, like the main part of my army. You're 17 right now. Oh wait, wait, that's the war goal. It's all the time. Yeah, 29th. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Well, let's just show you. Well, show you. I'm just kind of hoping that I somehow win this anyway. But I very much doubt it. Let's just defend. Let's just defend for now, and hope I can sneak by and do something cool and actually win this. We are. We are actually currently winning against them in the most weird battles. Wait, this, this is not lost. Maybe it actually isn't. Let's cancel that. Let's add this to the entire pile. Uh, our army currently consists of 34,000, so we're not even close to our immortal number. 
Uh, you are being at attacked right there. You should be attacking right. Oh, actually, that's a river. That's just plain stupid for you to be. Let's switch you guys out. You guys retreat. But come on, come on, come on. I was attacking right there. Uh, can you actually continue right here and try to surround that division? Maybe. Uh, you stop your push. Okay, there we go. Enter. Enter. Come on. You're entering right there. Then we are going to surround those divisions. We're still holding them in the north. Okay, we're going to get paramilitarism. Cut those units off. And with all of these divisions, attack right here and see if we can kill those units off. Because if we can, that would be, f that would be lovely. Uh, you guys need to be right here. Come on. Uh, could you somehow just get up and actually take their capital while they are away, pushing into my nation? No, they're right there, okay. Damn it. They were defending their capital, that's too bad. Okay, this is not as lost as I was speaking of. Okay, and um, that's just giving me my, my, my motorized more stuff, that's very good. Uh, let's just keep defending right there. Ugh, damn it, that was not the point, that was not the point, holy shit, that was really bad. That we basically threw away right now. Uh, let's see, you're gonna try to cut my units off right there. We threw away our current... We threw away our current hold right there. That's really, really bad. Now it's not as... Well, I'm not as hopeful anymore. <laughs> I was really get, hoping that single push right there would be excellent. Okay, you guys go in right there and actually you get back right here. And see if we can actually capture that division. That's only one division, but sure, it's something at least. Uh, you continue just producing more tanks, and now, yeah, we're using the divisions I said I wasn't gonna use. But bloody hell, I don't care. We're attacking way too early for this to be anything proper, so I hope you guys forgive me. Uh, you're attacking right there. Cut that off. Oh god, you're really cutting off my tank round instead. Uh, can you push in right there? Oh wait, 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 you're moving, you're moving. You get in right there, you go up. You're moving. You're gonna arrive there in... Come on, a couple hours. Move in right there. Take take their capital. Okay, good. That's your capital gone. That's not enough, though. We need to go up and take Mosul as well. You are now attacking me, and come on. Just get in there. Just get in there. Okay. Ugh, so close. Let's see, what do they have left? Uh, it might be that province that they just took from me. Or, it, no, no, wait, of course, it's this one. Baghdad. Uh, or it might be the... No, actually, I think it's this, this. If we just take that one, then we might be finished with this campaign. Or not campaign, we are finished with this episode. Because we're finishing the war with uh, with Iraq. Come on. Okay, we took it. Oh, really, really, really? They're 1% away. They're 1% away. Uh, you need to just take some random provinces here. Take some random provinces, come on. Mmm, there we go. There we go! Thank you guys for watching this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That you like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye and bye.